Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Awesome Arcturus, star of a million years. Greetings, fellow stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. How often have you heard the term fixed star? Often, I'm sure, because when we look up at the constellations at night, we essentially see the same star patterns which our ancestors saw thousands of years ago and which our descendants will see thousands of years hence. And indeed, for all practical visual purposes, the stars are fixed. But in reality, they're not. Indeed, they're all moving at incredible speeds throughout space in all different directions. But because they're so incredibly far away, it takes many lifetimes to notice any changes in their positions relative to one another, except for a couple of them. In fact, Edmund Halley, for whom Halley's Comet is named, discovered almost 300 years ago that the star called Arcturus had changed its position from its location in older star charts, which made Halley wonder if perhaps the stars were not as fixed as everyone thought. And he was indeed right, for we now know that Arcturus changes its position among the fixed stars faster than any bright star other than Alpha Centauri. But that's just one of the extraordinary things about Arcturus. And before I tell you more, let me show you how to find it. Okay, simply go outside any clear evening, look north for the Big Dipper, and then use it as a guide. Because to find Arcturus, all you have to do is shoot an arrow through the handle of the Big Dipper, and that arrow will land smack dab on Arcturus, the brightest star in Bootes. Or, as any amateur astronomer would tell you, arc to Arcturus. Now, once you've found Arcturus, think of this. Although all the other stars are in reality moving in different directions at different speeds, Arcturus's direction and speed is special because Arcturus's real space velocity is almost 90 miles per second and is moving toward the constellation Virgo. And at that incredible rate, it will change its position among the stars as seen from our Earth by the width of one full moon every 900 years. That's fast. So, Bootes is the one constellation that is changing its visual shape faster than all the rest, except for Centaurus. So fast that I like to think of Arcturus as the star of a million years, because it was only half a million years ago that Arcturus first became visible to the eyes of man. And incredibly, in just half a million years more, it will disappear from naked eye view altogether. You see, although ancient records listed Arcturus as the sixth brightest star in the heavens, we now see it as the fourth brightest. And in fact, we who walk this planet now are seeing Arcturus as bright as any humans ever will, because right now, Arcturus is about as close as it will ever come to our planet Earth. Indeed, it will soon, cosmically speaking, pass us by and fade into the void forever. Just think of it, Arcturus, one of the brightest stars of our time, was invisible to our ancestors a mere half million years ago. So look for it now while it's still around, and it's easy if you just keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95. Thank you. 